Hello everybody, welcome back. Yeah, today we're going to have a look on this very nice GG I got from Hansen. Uh, it has a very nasty keyway. Six pins, nasty bidding, so a good challenge, I thought. And I already had some experience with nasty GGs, because this one, I showed it on my channel before, and this is the same model, AP2000. And yeah, I have it on my naughty bucket for quite some time now. Also has a nasty keyway. But uh, yeah, the security drivers in there, which look like this, um, are just nasty. That double or triple spoolage action here is really tough, especially combined with the tight tolerances. So I was expecting to have a hard time with this one. But actually, this is a very good example how bad pinning and mastering can weaken the security of a lock drastically. So I want to show this in this short video today. And yeah, what is mastering? Well, if you have a large building complex or so, you want certain areas accessible for only one person and others for the other person. So key A can only open doors on area A, while key B can open only doors in area B. And how is this realized? Well, oh, the glare, come on. Well, you introduce master wafers like these here, and you actually put them between the driver and the key pin. In that way, um, oh, sorry. In that way, you have a key pin of two lengths, basically, or you can even put three lengths in there. Yeah? And this way, two keys can operate just one door and then the other. And then you can have a master key, which can open all doors. And just, I will show you uh, when we see the pin stacks inside. But let's focus on that lock. Um, this key works on this lock. I have to be careful because I already removed the C-clamp, C-clip. And yeah, let's get it focused. And to show you how bad this is in this lock, let me just use this deep profile. And we go in, nothing on one, two, three. And we want to go to pin four. Let's find it. One, two, three. Yeah, here's pin four. Might be okay. No, pin five. Good click. And yeah, we're open. <laughs> so, this is a really, really bad example for mastering because this made it actually to a two pin lock. But there's more for it in this lock. And oh, let me quickly gut it and show you where the problem lies with this one. So to do that, let's use a pinning shoe. Go in here. Let's not drop everything again. Like I just did a second ago. Put the core here. Oh, sorry, focus still. Um, let's get the drivers out first. And you might be wondering, well, there's no driver here. And you're right, it's just a spring. And we will get that in a second. And just another spring. And now finally we have a driver. So what is going on here? As you remember, I did not touch pin one, two, three. I just touched pin four. And then the lock already opened. So let's see, one more to go. It's 
So, this is what we got out of the housing. Only three security drivers. Still the nice GGs, if you would focus. Come on. Yeah, so nice security drivers in four, five, and six. But where are the other drivers? A lock cannot work like this, so... What is going on with my focus today? Okay. Um, so let's have a look. This is what the core looks like now. Sorry. And yeah, let's dump the pins. So, oh, grill protection just goes here. And yeah, out of chamber one came a standard key pin and a standard driver. Chamber 2, security driver and key pin. Chamber 3, security driver and key pin. Chamber 4, some mastering. Chamber 5, again some mastering. Chamber 6, also some mastering. So, let me clean this up and then I can show you what the pins look like. So you would expect, well, this looks rather decent and nice security drivers and so on. A little bit of mastering, but it cannot be that bad. Well, if it's pinned like this and you put the key pin of chamber one in and then you put the driver on top of it and it just becomes flush then you just have a 5 pin lock. Then you put in chamber 2 and you put the driver on top and even though it is below shear a bit still the spring can just up jump out of the chamber so you have a 4 pin lock remaining. Let's get chamber 3 in with its driver and key pin and it's completely flush again. <laughs> so you have a three pin lock. Let's go to the back. And populate it like this. So this is just uh, the key pin and the master wafer. So <laughs> this is also flush. So you just have a two pin lock and let's get these in. Um, here you see this is the key pin and the master wafer and you see that it needs a bit of lift and if we put the driver on top you see it acts as a standard pin and yeah this is what you have to pick actually and let's put pin 5 in with the master wafer and there you see we actually have to pick secu the security feature once of this driver. So at least that is some security, but yeah, the pinning on this one is really bad. So you need longer drivers in chambers one, two, and three. And then here in, in six, well, um, if, if we look on the key, and I will just do it messy now, if we put the key in, you will see all the drivers and so on, they just go and what remains is just uh, the key pins and you don't need any mastering that this key works. But then still you need longer drivers in chambers 1, 2, 3. But you can get rid of the, well, here in, in 4 we have this long master wafer. 
let me check yeah so this is what you could pin it up to if you just remove the mastering you could at least uh, make it a three pin lock <laughs> a bit more effective also but still chambers one two and three you need other drivers otherwise it will not get any secure what you can do is maybe just put the master wafers um, that you have now not used and you will not need them in the key you can just put them in chambers one two three and then at least you have a working lock lock where you have to pick all the pins <laughs> so in this lock the master wafers do not cause the main problem by giving another shear line at each chamber but really the the pin work is is just horrible yeah so i talked to hansen and uh what we we decided on that um, I'll just send it back in, in in pieces and he has still longer drivers that he want to put in there so I hope that it becomes a bit more pick resistant then but if I would pin it up now again then I would probably do it like this so at least all the drivers are <laughs> blocking the shear line at rest <laughs> so yeah always be aware of that if you're messing around with pin works like in a challenge lock you build or so or if you come in the situation to pin up lock just have that in, in the back of your head anyhow oh, quite a mess okay anyhow thanks for watching we're still here and yeah hope to see you next video bye